Heavy stuff here, so you are warned. We're not going to show the video, though. A security video obtained by CNN showed uh, Sean C Puffy Combs attacking his ex-girlfriend Cassie in a hotel hallway in 2016. As I said, we will not be showing the video, um, just for people who have uh, triggers. Um, but it shows Combs wearing only a white towel, punching, kicking, shoving, and dragging Cassie, who is attempting to get on an elevator at the Intercon Intercontinental Hotel in Century City. Uh, the lawsuit alleges that Combs paid the hotel $50,000 to keep the video secret for about 10 years almost. Um, he addressed the video on Instagram uh, where he posted himself a couple of days later. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. That's what Diddy had to say about uh, the whole thing. According to reports, Diddy and Cassie, Cassie uh, legally can't mention each other's names, um, which may explain why that apology video was so awkward and vague. Um, but, you know, he did try to make a statement. Diddy's ex-girlfriend and mother of his son, Justin Combs, wrote the following on Instagram. Her name's Misa Hilton. She wrote, I am heartbroken that Cassie must relive the horror of her abuse and my heart goes out to her. I know exactly how she feels. And through my empathy, it has triggered my own trauma. These young people were raised by women that want the best for them. We put God and education first and have always been uni united in our mutual effort to support their dreams. Two of the youngest do not have their mother here and it's been our duty to support them. Their father needs help and I'm praying that he truly does the personal work and receives it. Um, so she said a lot uh, without just actually flatly just coming out and say, you know, did he abuse me as well? Um, in any event, was there any reason in your opinion for Diddy to release that apology video? Is there any hope for redemption um, on the side of Diddy and all of this? What do you guys think? I don't necessarily think there's like a hope for redemption or anything like that. I think that I think just personally, if if something like this came out about me, like I would want to like tell people how I feel about seeing it, just because like you know when you see a video like that, it's just like how do you do that? Like that is insane for you to do that. Right. I don't think it changes anybody's opinion. I don't think it changes the situation at all. But it is. I mean, like, the main believer though, out of some people like Slim Thug. Well, there are people who are always going to believe. Yeah, who are doubting. Like, they didn't, who are doubting they didn't want it. Yeah, I I just think it's one of those things that like. I don't commend him for putting the video out, but I do think it was like necessary because like, I know we live in this culture with celebrities, whatever, where stuff comes out and it's like, don't, you don't address it. You wait till it blows over or whatever. And it's like, no, like you need to address this. Like you need to say something about it. Granted, we're probably not going to accept the apology, but like you need to open your mouth and, and not pretend like this is not happening right. and stop denying yeah. it. And you definitely need to address it because you denied it initially. You need to address it. Ty, as um, a hip hop fan and a huge Biggie fan, does this affect any of the records you're going to listen to um, moving forward? Like, how do you feel about D? Like, is he going to get the R. Kelly treatment where he's out of the playlists and all that stuff? Um, or does the fact that he's actually contrite and admitting to this help any? Because R. Kelly never did that. Um, you you kind of mentioned a couple things there. Um, the, your, the first part of your question was no. Um, the second part of your question was like. <laughs> So the first part being no as as is not going to affect the music that you listen to. No, but I also don't feel like he's like super like whenever 
you get caught with your literal like your hands in a cookie jar and then you apologize like you definitely saw all this stuff coming out you put out a video saying that you denied all of the horrible things being said about you yeah um, you, did. you did all this stuff um to try knowing to, that that video was out there too like knowing that he had paid the money to seal that video because it wasn't out there right they somehow got out there and right. he, we never see it and then once we see it then you come out and apologize yeah i agree um i guess you should have said something because it would be super weird for you not to but at the same time like are you contrite are you sorry did you like why didn't you come out and say you know i, I did a lot of crazy things in my past i i'm getting therapy i'm getting help could you because everyone was reading the documents and then they wrote Cassie off as someone who's just trying to get a big payoff. And um, yeah, exactly. And Puppy posted that thing about, you know, people just trying to get me for, you know, whatever they're trying to get me for, get me for money. And the truth will come out. He wrote the truth will set, set, set us free and all that crap. Like he wrote that after after the lawsuit came out. It set somebody free. It's not him. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> and so, you know, no, I don't you know, I'm still going to listen to uh, Notorious B.I.G. You know how it is. We have a special bond. Um, but it, it just is what it is. Like, Puff Daddy's full of crap. It's going to be I mean, awkward, um, Bill, isn't it? Uh, well, <clears throat> here's the thing. you Because he runs the summer. Did he notoriously run summer? Like, in the oh, summertime, no, no, no. it's happening. You're assuming, happen. that our summer has, you're assuming that Diddy himself has made music worth listening to. That's <laughs> very true. That is very true. That's number Good one. Point. The man has never made a record himself worth listening to. <laughs> what, what do you think this is? All he's done was Hip hop and shuck and job on other people's records. We That's ain't it. going nowhere. <laughs> right, it, ne- not right. happening. Um, huh, lock him up, throw away the key. He's going to jail. Uh, mm. You know, he may as well. The problem is, so there's no redemption hope for Diddy at this point. Um, well, I because he's right. I mean, if he's if he if he keeps apologizing you know, for it, I should say. I can't somebody, say he's right. Okay, let, let let's ask this question. Right, like if somebody came. And like dragged you down the hallway, and then you were like, "Help me! I, I need help!" And everybody was just like, "No, you don't. You're crazy." And then you came out, with, and then like I came out after dragging you down the hallway. Was like, "I just want my money." Right. Yeah. And then I'm like, "Well, I, God, 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 forgive, forgive, forgive." What are you gonna do? He even threw therapy in there. Oh, so full of crap. He <laughs> didn't <laughs> like you back. Well, but, but, yeah, but, oh, he's so full of crap. Pump Daddy hasn't seen a rehab in his life. <laughs> well, and, that's, and, and that's very evident by those black lips. Like, that man is smoked mm. out. It's actually very, really sad to see it. But, you know, I will say another thing, though, that that I'm a little conflicted <laughs> in them lips. Ooh. One thing I'm a little conflicted by. Also, he shouldn't have got a haircut. Like, with them teeth. A haircut. If you're going to do this video, you got to look how we looked in the pandemic. Well, he tried to not get the beard and everything shaped up and everything. He's trying but to. You gotta, no, you got to go full pandemic. He didn't have time. He had time to get there. Well, but but uh, <laughs> what I will say, though, is that one thing that is a little like weird to me is the, the conversation about this on social media. Because on one hand, you have a bunch of people, mostly men, that are saying, like, she's still just looking for a payday. And I saw this whole thing that was like, it was Charleston White. And he was like, he was saying, like, Cassie didn't want him to go to jail. She just wanted money. And like, as a culture, as a society, we got to stop that conversation. Please. And we have to stop saying people just wanted money. They didn't want jail time. The mm-hmm. LAPD came out and said, like, the statute of limitations has passed on this video. So we can't put him in jail for this. Like, stop being stupid on purpose. And we, as right. men, we really got to stop doing stuff like that. It's, it's not cute. It's not funny. And it doesn't go well for us at all. Guilty is guilty. That's that. That's that on that.